Let's come out. Let's give the Lord a hand for our governor. Paul Riley. Come on, let's give Jesus thanks because this is... She declared some things that were powerful. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just... We forgot to talk about Pastor Muthi. Yeah, as I was mayor and Pastor Muthi was here and he was praying over me and you know how he speaks. He, he uh, And he's so bold. He's praying, uh, uh, Lord, make a way. Lord, make a way. And... Um, I'm thinking, this guy is really bold. He doesn't even know what I'm going to do. He doesn't know what my plans are. And he's praying not, oh, Lord, if it, you, if it be your will, may she become governor or whatever. No, he just prayed for it. He said, Lord, make a way and let her do this next step. And that's exactly what happened. So, again, very, very powerful coming from this church. So that was awesome about Pastor Muthi. Yeah. Stay right. This is awesome. <clears throat> Making a prophetic declaration and it unfolds the kingdom of God, you know, and so there is a prophetic call. But Paul Riley, you know, I know this is not in the program, but she said, pray, pray, pray. So we just keep standing if you have the grace for it. If not, we understand. But we want to pray. And I want to please pray for Sarah. I know we, for Governor Sarah, I know we had an opportunity to pray over you. It was an honor to declare that word over you with the wisdom. But there were some things about the natural resources, about the state. There were some things that God wants to tap into to be a refuge for the lower 48. And I believe Alaska is one of the refuge states. Come on, you guys, in the last days. And hundreds and thousands of people are going to come to the state to seek refuge. And the church has to be ready to minister to them. Amen. So could you pray as her pastor and as I, you're my covering, too, because you started this church. Back in the 50s, and I want to thank you for, will you please pray for our governor and what she's basically requested. Father, we are so humble and grateful to you for your mercy and love, for your kindness. And we have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Lord, we thank you because you have blessed us with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places. And today we have experience that as we have gathered together in your name. And Lord, we declare your goodness. We declare your love. We declare your provision. We pray that you'd go before Sarah, that you will give her great wisdom, great strength. And Lord, that you will give her uh, help and unity with those whom she works with. And we pray, Lord, that your presence will be so real that we will say, this is a God thing. This is a God thing. And, Lord, that you are with us every day, all along the way, in our family, in our uh, planning. And, Lord, we just ask you, we just ask you that your touch will be upon us, <laughs> that we will be rooted and grounded in love, and that your love will abound to the multitudes that need your love. We thank you, Lord, for this occasion. We thank you for our governor, and we ask your blessing upon her family and her future. And, Lord, we are just expecting great and mighty things through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, what we have for uh, our governor, we gave her one of our diplomas, Master's Commission diplomas, for her to take back. And so we just, this, this says a big thank you right across it from the Master's Commission. So, and it's yours. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate this. And one last thing, as I travel around the state, it's really cool to get to visit other communities and visit other churches. And uh, once in a while, a pastor will, will come up to me before the service starts and says, now, I don't know about your background, but, you know, we welcome you to our worship service. And now don't be surprised if maybe a parishioner or two may want to raise their hands or clap. And I say, I grew up at Wasilla Assembly of God. Nothing freaks me out about the worship service. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. Praise God.